Hey, this is Patrick from Frontly. I'm very excited to share with you our brand new Forms feature, which allows you to create full screen, visually appealing, minimalist form experiences for your users. Whether you wanna collect data from a customer or a survey or something like that, our new Forms feature is the nicest way to collect data. So let's get started by going to Forms here in the sidebar and then clicking New Form. I'm just gonna call this form Survey and let's get started. So what you have here is you have a sidebar with your form configuration, and then you have the live preview over here. So this is what your form is gonna look like. It's a full screen experience. We have one field or question at a time, and when your user hits enter or okay, um, they'll be taken to the next question. So it's more like um, sort of a step-by-step questionnaire, but it feels really nice and visual and is a very different experience from a plain form inside um, a box. So let's click on new field and let's customize it. So maybe I want to ask a user um, what their, you know, what their profession is. So it could be like, um, I'll call this field profession. And then the label is going to say, um, to get started, what's your profession? So you can see here, um, you can enter whatever you want, but the idea is to sort of phrase your labels more like a question. So it feels almost like a chat bot instead of just a, a boring form. And then you can use the description and placeholder to go a little deeper. So you can say, um, you know, this helps us set up your account correctly or, you know, something like that. And then the placeholder can just be an example. It could say, doctor, lawyer, etc. And now we can keep this as a plain input field, or if we wanted to, we could actually adjust it to another type. I'll uh, create another field for that. So what I will do is in this live preview, I can actually test it out. So I can type in um, lawyer and then hit enter. And you can see that because I've only added this one field, we're, we're at the end of the form now. And this thank you text and all of this, this is all customizable as well. So I can go, um, you know, complete setup. I can adjust this. I can say, um, thanks so much. And then, you know, our team will be in touch. There you go. So you can put whatever you want here, but let's add another field. So you can see we're, we're previewing that field now. And this field is going to be called uh, email. So I'm going to say, what's your work email address? And again, say, um, this will allow us to contact you if there are any issues. And placeholder name at example.com. Now, just like forms inside Frontly, we can do uh, validation. So when you click on this validation down here, I can trigger this and say, this is an email. So not only will we make sure there's a valid value in the field, but we'll make sure that it's actually a valid email address, which is really nice. So I can hit save, and if I want at any time, I can go preview this form. You can see that I'm at my demo.frontly.ai slash survey. So that's how users would be able to access this. And you can see it's this very nice looking full screen experience. But there are a few styling options. One of the options is to show a logo. So when I click on this, it's going to show my logo. Now your logo would be the one you've uploaded to your navigation logo uh, area in your settings. So this is my logo, the Frontly logo, and you can actually adjust the background color too. So you can just click here and you can see in real time, you can just drag this around, um, find a color that you like. Let's say I want that color. I think that looks pretty cool and kind of modern. So. The last step that I'll show you is um, adding one more field, and this is going to be um, a multiple option field. So let's say, um, you know, <laughs> color. I'm going to say, what's your favorite color? Now, in order to preview this, I'll just go to the next step. Okay, what's your favorite color? There you go. So unlike the other fields, I'm going to make this an options field. So I'm going to add a couple options, and you can see they, they appear in this nice little options selector here. So let's say red, blue, green, and that's all we're going to do for now. And 
um, I'll just get rid of those fields. So I have my three fields and the only other thing that I wanna do is I'm gonna configure this submit action. So I can add an action step and now I can pretty much do whatever I want. Um, I can navigate the user to another page. I could trigger a notification. I could send an email or I could add a record to a Google Sheet or something like that. So what I think I'm actually gonna do is I'm going to navigate the user to another page, but I haven't created a page specifically for this yet. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to my pages and I'm gonna create a new page called survey results. Now, this is just an example and I'm gonna keep it very simple. So I'm gonna add um, three text blocks here and this one's gonna say um, email and then I'm gonna add the uh, variable here, which is gonna be grabbing from my URL parameters. So params.email and I'll explain, you know, as we go through here, you'll understand what I'm, what I'm doing here. So I'll do the same thing, except this will be um, profession. And so this is my first question here. And then one more, I will do um, the last question, which was color. So this is just to show you how you can actually take these variables that the user entered in their form and use them elsewhere. So that's what we're doing right now. Um, I'm gonna maybe make these a bit bigger just so it's a little nicer looking um, and a little easier to see in this demo. And that's all I'm gonna do. So this is a very basic page, but now I have my survey results page and it's set up to use the parameters that I'm about to add to the URL. So email, profession, and color are the three that I've chosen. And if I go back to my form, go to survey, and then I go to my submit action. So I'm going to select this page, survey results, and I don't have to add parameters to navigate, but in this case, I wanna pass the information that the user's entering on this page to the next page. And I'll do that by adding them as URL parameters. So I'll put profession, color, and what was the last one, email. So just like you might've used in some other places in the app, we can use variables like this. So form dot, whatever the name of your field is, the ID that you enter, that's how you access these variables here. So it's pretty simple. Um, once you get one, you can just kind of copy and paste and so there you go. So I have profession, color, and email. I'm gonna be sending all these values over in the URL to the next page when the user submits. So let's, let's do a real trial now. So I'm gonna refresh this page. We'll see the updated version. All right, so to get started, what's your profession? Doctor, enter. What's your work email address? I'm gonna type in something invalid and hit enter. There you go. So we're getting some email validation because I triggered that in the setup. So I'm gonna say patrick at frontlyapp.com. And last but not least, what is my favorite color? Well, my favorite color is green. So I'm gonna hit okay. And as you can see, instantly we were navigated to this other page and you can see the values are here. And if you look closely in my URL here, we have, um, we have this, Profession equals doctor, color equals green, and Patrick or and email equals Patrick at frontlyapp.com. So that's how this information is getting translated over this page. And that's just one example of the ways you can use that information. If we go back to our submit action, again, you know, we can we can really do almost anything. We could send a webhook, you could update the user, you can trigger a make or zap your automation, and so much more. So for more information on that stuff, you can find our full articles on all of these topics, including actions. So I hope that this is exciting for you to think about the ways you can use these new types of forms in your app. We look forward to getting your feedback.